welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in today's lecture we are going to learn about axis of reference axis of symmetry outline of the session in this session we are going to learn about first axis of reference second axis of symmetry so let us start with axis of reference in this figure the t section has been shown this point is centroid of t section these two axes xx and yy axis are axes passing through the centroid of this t section cg or centroid of any body is always calculated with reference to some assumed axis here in this case this is the centroid of t section which is at y bar distance away from this reference x axis and it is x bar distance away from this assume y axis or we can say vertical axis centroid or center of gravity of any body is always calculated with reference to some assume axis such assume axis are selected in a such a way that the body remains in first quadrant so the axis parallel to y is always selected passing through the leftmost portion of the body and the assume x axis is always selected as lowermost part of the body so such assume axis are called axis of reference so let us define it So axis of reference is defined as the assumed axis about which the centroid or center of gravity of the body is calculated. Now let us move to next point that is axis of symmetry. In this figure the T section has been shown. Now in this T section this is y y axis. Now if we see carefully this axis divide the given t section in exactly two equal and identical part so if we bend this t section from this axis this left portion will exactly coincide over the right portion so such axis which divide the figure into two identical part such axis are called axis of symmetry if we see this axis so this axis do not divide this t section exactly in two part so this is not axis of symmetry here axis of symmetry is parallel to y y axis if the figure is symmetric about y y axis then x bar is directly available and only we need to work out y bar and if the figure is symmetrical about x x axis in that case y bar is directly available and only x bar need to calculate so let us define axis of symmetry axis of symmetry so the axis which divide the figure into two identical parts is called axis of symmetry so in t section y y axis is axis of symmetry so in this case x bar is directly available and y bar need to calculate so here this t section is having axis of symmetry parallel to y axis so this distance which is half of flange width that is x bar which is directly available only y bar need to calculate let us see such axis of symmetry for more shapes in this figure three different sections are there this is c section this is i section and this one is angle section now let us see one by one here this c section 
is symmetric about xx axis. If we see carefully, we can realize that this C section is symmetric about xx axis. So, if we cut the section from here, these two parts are identical and if we bend this C section, the top portion will be come exactly over the lower portion. So, in this case, y bar will be directly available and x bar need to calculate. y bar will be equal to this length divided by 2 and x bar need to calculate. So, for C section, axis of symmetry is xx, y bar will be directly available and x bar need to calculate. Now, this is I section. If we see carefully, xx axis and yy axis, both axis are symmetric. So, this I section is symmetric about both xx and yy axis. Means, if we cut it from here, this two part will be identical. And if we cut from this axis, these two parts left and right are also identical. So, in this case, axis of symmetry is xx and yy. So, axis of symmetry is xx axis and yy axis. So, y bar and x bar both will be directly available. x bar will be half of this length and y bar will be half of this length. Now, the next section is angle section. If we see carefully, this section is not symmetric about any axis, xx or yy. So, as there is not any symmetric axis, x bar and y bar, both centroidal distance need to be calculated. So, in any figure, if any axis is symmetrical axis, then it will be easy to work out centroid. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.